guys. Um, so I'm so happy to see that so many of you loved the found object color wheel activity. Um, so today I decided to do a very similar one, um, but instead you're gonna have to go outside for this one. So what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be finding found objects of nature. So rocks, twigs, um, pine cones, flowers, leaves. Um, you could find, what else, uh, berries if they, you have some. Um, but anything that is outside. So you're gonna create your own mandala design. And I'm gonna insert a picture here of an example of a mandala. What a mandala is, is you're creating a radial symmetrical pattern around a center point. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna create, find an object, for instance, a rock or a flower, put it in the very center of where you're gonna ha start your design on the ground. And then you're gonna build outwards, a pattern going outwards. So then you can have leaves going around that flower. You could have twigs going around that flower. And you wanna create a pattern around that pattern. Um, now symmetrical means that one side of the face is the same as the other side. So for instance, I have an eye on this side, then I have an eye on that side. Half of my nose is on this side, half on that side. So whatever you do to one side, you wanna do the same for the other. So if you lay six twigs out on one side, you're gonna lay six twigs out on the other side. Um, again, I'm gonna insert an image so that you can see what a design, a radial design would look like. Um, I also wanted to show you this artist that's really cool. He, his name is Andy Goldsworthy and he creates artwork, non-permanent artwork that is outside. So I will insert some pictures of his artwork here. his stuff is that it's not permanent. So what you want to do is when you create your mandala design, you can create it outside in your yard, you could create it along a sidewalk, and um, so that other people can view it and see it. But over time, it won't stay permanent. So when it rains, perhaps some of your things will wash away. Or, you know, as it gets hotter throughout the springtime, your things might dry up and um, die off. For instance, flowers, if you pick them, or leaves, they'll dry up. All right, so what I did is I gathered all my things, different colors, textures, shapes, sizes, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a place in the yard to create my found object mandala um, because there's an artist named Andy Goldsworthy and he takes found objects that he finds in nature and he creates different sculptures and mandalas patterns and leaves them in nature for other people to find and so i think i'm going to do the same thing i think i found a really good spot um this there's this red pine needles on the ground i think that would be a very good contrast for making my mandala so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out my things in a radial symmetry pattern, meaning that what you're going to do is you're going to put place an object. So for instance, you know what I have in here? I want it, but I cannot find. Ah, I found this dandelion. I'm going to put that in the center of my mandala pattern. And then what you can do is from that center point, you're gonna create a pattern that goes around that center point in a circle. So what I'm gonna do then, oh, I think these would be really nice around it. So I'm gonna place my sage, I, oh, well, I mean, not, they're not sage. They do look like sage, but they're lamb's ear around my dandelion.
And then from there, I will then create another pattern. Oh, wait, I'm going to use my pine needles, the green ones, creating maybe a pattern going out from that center point. It doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical because it is nature and things in nature are not perfectly symmetrical. They do have some variety in organic shape to them. So there is my pine needles. I think from here I'll cut my pine cones. So see, I'm slowly creating a pattern going out, and I think, ooh, I think these would look really nice kind of around the outside. Again, but as you can see, I'm slowly creating that mandala shape, except I accidentally got some other items not in their space. Okay, and it's creating that super cool circle effect. And I think from there you can add, woo, you can add to your already created circle or you can start going outside it. I think I'm going to um, add these, but I think I'm going to break it up a little and inside here. So I will be right back. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm pretty much done. I used a lot of my supplies. I may use this other rock. Um, let's see. This rock is not very profound, so, because it's a little bit darker. So I'll put that there. And um, I just need to get some more moss, which my mom has gotten for me, because she is so nice and helpful. And you guys can also work with the rest of your family together to make these. Um, but there's really no right or wrong to it. Once you find what you want to put in the center, and you can start building around it, that's all you gotta do. Um, so I'm just ripping up this moss. And I'm putting it, laying it around my um, design. And I'm gonna put this clump up here. Which I lost my little spook in here. Lay it back down. And you can also layer it. So you can see I layered um, pine cones on top of the leaves. I did holly on top of the pine needles and these little dried up flowers and rocks and then the yellow flowers and the moss and this um, grass. And, um, and I just layered them up and built them out from the dandelion. And there is my nature found object mandala design. And I'm gonna leave this actually out in the yard and then hopefully when people are walking they'll see it and maybe it'll make their day. Overall it should be a fun activity. I had fun doing it um, and finding objects. I even had my mother helping me find items to create the mandala. Um, so you could have the same thing. You could have your family all involved in creating this mandala. I created a kind of a small one. You could create a huge one. It's up to you how you want to create it. Um, I hope you have fun making this activity and I will see you guys on the next one.